Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as you may well know by now, individuals or organizations who elect to continue using Windows 10 after support was ended and deprecated by Microsoft on the 14th of October last month, will have the option of enrolling your PC into a paid ESU subscription. And the ESU program enables PCs, as you may well know, to continue to receive critical and important security updates through an annual subscription service after support ends. And I'll leave a video on how I enrolled into the ESU, link down below in the end screen, because it's not just paid. There are so-called two free options that will allow you to sign up for free if you have a Microsoft account. Now, the reason I'm mentioning the ESU is because Microsoft has rolled out an update, which I spotted this morning on Windows 10. If we're heading to view update history, this is the update, KB5072653. Now, it wasn't an automatic update. I had an option to click on the install button. But basically what this update is all about is it's a package that's going to be essential for ESU updates in the future to be downloaded and installed onto a device if you are signed up to the ESU. So you'll need this update to proceed with ESU updates if you have signed up. Now Microsoft says that to enable the ESU for Windows 10, the following must be applied in the following order. So this is obviously to be able to get the ESU updates moving forward. Number one, you need to have this update, KB5066791, or later updates installed. Now, this was the final Patch Tuesday security update and quality update for Windows 10 before support ended. So you need to have this, this update installed, and then you would need to have this update installed as a prerequisite for the ESU program, 5072653. And your device will restart automatically after installing this preparation package update, which happened in my case this morning. It's very quick. The update installed in maybe 5 to 10 seconds, and I had to restart the device. So take note, that's the order. To enable the ESU for Windows 10, the following must be applied in that order according to Microsoft. So if you haven't received the ESU sign-up wizard yet, then just check this update is installed. And if you have, then according to Microsoft, this is a prerequisite for the ESU program to continue to receive ESU updates on your machine now that Windows 10 is out of support. And this applies to both organizations and enterprises. And for whatever reason, if we just head back into view update history, for whatever reason, if you do not want the update installed onto your system, you can uninstall the update for whatever reason. And you'll just click on the uninstall toggle. But just take note though, there's a very good chance though, if you do uninstall the update, that it might want to reinstall itself again, or you may not be able to get ESU updates rolling out onto your device. So at this stage, I haven't seen any negative issues that the update is causing. It all seems to be okay after installing that update. But just putting it out there, if you're wondering what that update was all about, KB5072653 is basically, according to Microsoft, needed now for ESU updates to proceed in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.